Hey dudes and gals, welcome back to another episode of Kickstarter Craft. Hey, the piece of crap that I want to look at is called Anubis PC Custom Gaming PCs. I sound like a retard just saying it. I'm going to make a noobis. It's like a noob bus. It's like a bus full of noobs. At Anubis PC, we want to redefine what custom gaming PCs really are. No, don't do that. I don't want that. I don't, I'm fine with the customness of PCs as they are. When you look at custom PCs in the market, they're all the same custom box. They're all the same custom box. You got a red one, a, a white one, a black one. Those colors are the same colors. At what point did custom and slapping a company logo on the side and then giving you a choice of one to three colors? Why the fuck do you care? Why the fuck do you give a shit? It's a fucking logo. It's their company. They're gonna put their company logo on the fucking case, you dumb motherfucker! Since when did custom mean slapping a company logo on something? I don't know, since, uh, since companies fucking existed? Since they realized that, oh, maybe we shouldn't make a product, and then you n not have our logo on it. You know, the people who fucking made it. I have Cooler Master on my PC. It's listed in the tiniest font at the fucking bottom of it. Is that... Oh, fuck you, corporate America, you pieces of shit. At what point did custom and slapping a company logo on the side and then giving you a choice of one to three colors? Why does it cost so much? 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 Why? 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 Why does it cost so much? Why does the computer case, the cheapest component when building a computer, cost so much? Uh, it doesn't cost so much. What are they made of? Let's just do some simple calculations here. Uh, metal, uh, plastic, maybe some very basic electronic components. So basically, what he's saying is a retard can make a computer case. Problem is, you don't want a retard making your computer case. You want a professional making your computer case, like all the ones that have brand names and company logos. Sure, you can get the same bone, but the parts aren't what make it custom. You can get the same bone. I have no fucking clue what she just said. It doesn't really matter because her point is that the parts aren't what make it custom and uh, it's pretty fucking absurd that anyone would say that uh, to, you know, an audience of computer enthusiasts because, you know, these are the same people who, uh, you know, on their website will list the, their fucking build and they don't put in there, they'll put in the, their, the type of case they have, but they won't say, yeah, it's got a sphinx head on it. They're the type of people who will list in their forum signature on tomsrepair.org and, and it's gonna say GTX SLI 720 uh, hyperdrive a core X motherboard processor whatever the fuck that is Th that's what they're gonna list they're not gonna say I have a GI Joe head stapled to my CPU computer case very good using 3D printing we can take any model and make a truly custom casing 3D printing is here to save the day once again. 3D fucking printing. That is a brilliant move. I've seen so many dog shit insane people bring up 3D printing as though it's gonna fix everything. It's gonna fix all our manufacturing problems. Really, you're gonna manufacture with a 3D printer. You're out of your fucking mind. Make a mold, fucking put the shit in the mold, and get it out. Wanna know why? Because you're printing the same shit over and over again. See, th this is this is the, the fatal flaw with 3D printing, right? It's not a manufacturing tool, it's a prototyping tool. And it's an even shitty prototyping tool because, well, the material is going to be limited to melted plastic. Okay, Idubs, it's not exactly plastic, it's a specific polymer that uh, has, it's actually uh, a PEC 910, Idubs. Fuck you, okay? Here's a wireframe render of a chess piece. We have room for an optical drive, motherboard and graphics, metal frame, hard drive, and we're gonna conveniently fit a power supply and fans in the headdress of the Sphinx. Yep, we are space efficient engineers over here at Anubis Inc. Uh, you know what? You know what we believe in? We believe in that the Egyptians had it right back in the day. There's only one way to move air efficiently through a box, and that is to make it not be a box, it's gotta be a sphinx. No wonder why the Egyptians made sphinx and not boxes. Yeah. 
Pledge $300 and you get a limited edition Anubis case. Wow, what a bargain, $300. What was that you guys said again? Why does it cost so much? Huh. Why does it cost so much? Just so we're on the same page, that is $300 for a case. Just the shell of the computer. No computer components inside of that. They're not building you a computer. They do have that as a pledge though. If you pledge $2,500, then you can get a custom-built computer by Team Anubis. I don't know if you want that, but uh, they do have a nice selection of components here. But uh, I did the math on the components, and they come out to around $1,200, which is uh, significantly less than $2,500 that they're charging. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. Like, uh, you, you do have the cost of the Anubis case, which is, you know, $300, so... Tack that on, a, then you're still running to around $1,500. So, $1,500 case, $1,000 labor cost. I don't know, like, maybe there's some value there. Maybe labor is, is really $1,000. I don't know. If labor's $1,000, hire me. Risks and challenges. Creating art always has challenges, but fortunately, seven years of art training has equipped us to think outside of the box. Oh, seven years of art training? Is that, like... Seven years split amongst all three of you, or do you each have seven years, or is it only one person? You didn't really mention any art training experience in anywhere else in the project. Uh, I don't see how it's even fucking relevant. You're, you're, you're printing a fucking sphinx on, on a goddamn computer case. Like, what the fuck is art training? What, what do you, what art are you, did you train for? Martial arts? Dancing? Calligraphy? What fucking art are you talking? Seven years of 3D printing art? That's not really an art. I think it's also important to note that they have two different models here. One looks like a fucking chess piece, and the other one looks like a relatively normal computer case with a fucking sphinx head attached to it. So, I'm clueless as to why they have two different ones. They never once mention why, or fucking how, or anything about it. So, fuck. Like... Even the the most basic of information or explanation is not even here. The possibilities are endless with the power of 3D printing. Yeah, totally endless. They're endless because our workspace is like fucking 18 by 24 by 32 or some bullshit. Yeah, that's really endless. Extremely endless. No, but dude, we can like... What he's saying is that we could, like, uh, 3D print a, a dildo off the top of your computer tower so you can get fucked by your really shitty computer tower as you play games, man. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Is that pretty cool? Is that pretty cool, guys? Hey, how are you doing, everybody? I love 3D gaming. 3D gaming is one of my favorite experiences. I like playing uh, Super Mario. Yes, it's uh, very good. And now we introduce our newest segment, Reading the Comments. And our first comment comes from Carl Reynolds. I can definitely see the potential in this business. I can't wait to see more. Well, Carl, you're one stupid dumbass. You stupid dumbass. You shouldn't wait to see more because... It's a dumb project, and you're a dumbass for thinking that it's neat. It's not even neat, okay? Alright guys, that is going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Kickstarter Crap, taking a look at Anubis PC custom gaming PCs. Remember, if you liked it, to share with a friend. Remember to hit that like button. Hit the, hit that like button. Hit, let's, let's see if this we can get this one really high. Hit that like button. Remember to Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, blah, 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 blah. and remember to tune in next time when I get a nice rapport with Ricky Martin. And $99, a dollar short of her funding goal, you can come on down to sunny San Diego and spend an entire day with her. You can do just about anything you want, as long as it's within reason. You, you, you can't do any of that heteronormative shit, none of that heterocentric shit, all right? I don't want to see any any ableist propaganda when you show up to the date or whatever the fuck you can even call it. You can't call it a date. Ricky Martin. My hips don't lie and I'm starting to feel just right. Da -na -na -na. That's the only uh, Latina song I could think of. Ricky Martin's a Latino. He did uh, something. Live in La Vida Loca.